He's known for major acting roles in Hunt for the Wild People, Mount Zion and the Par Boys, as well as for his soulful singing voice. He's just released his second album in two years and he's with us now. Welcome back to the cafe, award-winning musician Troy King. Yes. Oh, Thank you for having me. Um, we had you on uh, almost exactly a year ago and at that stage you were awaiting the birth of your fifth child. So I take it fifth child's arrived. How's everything going? Good. Uh, full on. Um, busy? Busy, yeah. So... My main job, I'm, I'm at home, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so um, I'm lucky that I'm down here with you guys and I'm uh, privileged to be here with you guys. Hey, well, congratulations. Brand new album, Shake That Skinny Ass All The Way To Zygotron. Is that what it's called? Yes. Well, that's a very unusual title, Troy, so can you give us the background? I had a concept um, pretty much before, just before the other album came out um, that I wanted to do an album a sci-fi album based in the 70s and it was going to be all about space and I just kind of plucked that title out of the air and, and it just stuck. That's it, it works. It sounds really good. Yeah, I love it. So yeah. what's the sound like? Is it, it's, it's obviously quite different to your first one, Guitar Party at Uncle's Batch. Yeah, so that one was, it was kind of uh, bluesy rock, the first one. This one has, it's a little bit more, more mellower but it's also quite weird as well. Um, bit of funk? A little bit of funk, yeah, a little bit of funk, but pretty much I, I, I just had a smorgasbord of Isley Brothers and Al Green leading up to writing and, and recording this. So uh, it's got a real 70s soul feel about it, but also some a little bit of Twilight Zone feel about it as well. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Which yeah. makes me wonder what you were up to when you came oh, up this album. Nothing, were you just nothing. stargazing, thinking about the Well, world? yes. You've got five kids. Yeah, <laughs> well... Actually, we were up in Tauranga Bay uh, with the kids holidaying in January, and um, I had the concept. And no lies, I had a dream about this kid, a kid with golden feet, and that was kind of the catalyst for the whole album. So all the all the songs kind of stem from this little kid that was. With this random feet. kid in my dream with golden feet. That's cool. That, story. that yeah, is so much good. better than my dream where I had worms coming out of my hands the other night. <laughs> <laughs> it's not well, an album, that is yeah. it. Well, that could be an album. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, OK. <laughs> that could be your next one. Uh, so your first album, that took, uh, what, 10 years to get out? There, yeah. Give or take. And so yeah. you've got the second one out in a year. I mean, obviously a slightly different, different approach. Yeah, well, uh, before the first one came out, I had a goal, I set a goal for myself to try and get 10 albums out in 10 years. Similar to Tarantino wants to do 10 films and, and he's like one of my big inspirations as well. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna just try and set this goal. And it felt quite rushed, but in saying that, I did spend a lot more time on this album as well in the studio. So um, yeah, quite proud of it. And quite is proud there of it. a bit more pressure with it being the second album? You know, the first one's so well received, second one, is, do, you, do you feel that pressure? Yeah, they, they always say that, that your first one's always the best one because you have had a long time to, you know, construct these songs. But um, for me, I just try and block out everyone else's yeah. perception. It's all about writing good songs for me. So right. when you don't put anyone else's pressure on yourself apart from your own, it's, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, and it's like your kids too. I mean, you know, you, you don't necessarily, your firstborn's not your favourite. You like them all. You love them all. <laughs> Equally yeah. at different times. Yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's Do you true. ever use the kids to test out some songs? Um, actually, one of the songs come from me and my one of my daughters were in the spa when everyone had hopped out and we were looking at the moon and um, she started talking about what does the earth look like from the moon? Like, what if the earth looked like the moon and the moon was the earth? So we got into those sort of deep, weird convos and it gives you a little bit of an insight about how the songs sound and feel. Wow. That's beautiful bonding as well. <laughs> I quite like that. That's, yeah. a, that's great. Who'd you collaborate with on this album? Uh, so I had I had the same drummer, um, Trey Liu, he's from Kitty Kitty as well. And um, But then I also got an Ed Zucolo who plays um, keys for Trinity Roots. And he actually just improvised on the album. He hadn't heard any of the tracks until he got into the studio. And we I think we only done two takes because it's all live, so we've done two takes of every track. Wow. So what you hear of him doing that is probably the first or second time that he's, he's heard the song. Um, and then I also had Jimmy Colbert who plays bass for 1814 and um, Mata TK from Electric Choir High School who was an um, executive producer as well. And um, Yeah, it was, a, it was a good mix of people. Geez, you are super talented, aren't you? I know, because I see you on commercials, I've seen you at the movies. What is next? 
Um, I suppose start running for the next album. Next one, you get those 10 <laughs> albums out in 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, uh, just looking forward to summer, really. Yeah. Um, hanging out with the kids, um, having some family time, and then um, and then start getting back into work, whatever. I just take it as it comes. Awesome. Really. Another one to go. Oh, 10 true. albums, yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Troy, thank you so much. Yeah, good oh, on it's been you, a pleasure. Uh, Troy Kingy's brand new album, Shake That Skinny Ass, all the way to Zygotron, is available now. And you can stick around here. We'll be performing live for us very soon. Yeah, you do not want to miss that. Looking forward to that performance. It's a stick some peace indigenous message set for a Shoot! Sure.